had a rather exciting evening of, of all sorts. And at about, <laughs> about three in the morning, I was thinking, do you know what? I'm going to go onto Pornhub and I'm going to go on and look at porn. Well, I've never had an evening like that. Are we on? Are we ready to go? Hello, welcome to Celebrity Fry Up. With shit and let's start again. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, are we on? Good, let's get going. Welcome to Celebrity Fry Up with a bloke off the telly, Ewan McIntosh. Hello. Yay, we're thrilled to be here. Yeah, very excited. I can tell. Should we get on with it then? I'm starving. I was thinking about you last night when I was in bed. I bet you were, you normally do, don't you? Yeah, I do. You did a sitcom, didn't you? Uh, how long? That was, yeah, I think yeah, a, a, yeah. quite a long, like, no, no, there not we this are. decade. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, and good night. Mackenzie, right? Oh, uh, Mackenzie uh, Crook. Crook, yeah. He, he went on and did um, Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, did he? Yeah, I know, surprised okay. that. Yeah, the, yeah. the billion dollar franchise. And then there was Martin Freeman, who, you know Martin? He, oh yeah, I remember he Martin. Remember what Martin. Was he up to? What oh well, he, he did Sherlock, didn't he? And he did um, the million dollar hit, The Hobbit. Oh, did I yeah. didn't see that? So, that good? So, yeah, it's right. So, how was your time on Celebrity <laughs> Celebrity Pointless? Well, I won a jackpot. Did you? Twice. How yeah. much? Uh, t first one was uh, whatever they give you, two thousand or something, I think, for oh. charity. So when it comes to sitcoms, right? So here's the thing for you. Am I going to be cooking as well? Yeah, you, you okay. get on with it. I'm, yeah, I'm, on with I'm it. starving. Yeah. Is one of the things that I want to know is would you have rather have had nine series of a lower low or two series of The Office? Oh, a lower low. So you would rather have nine series of a lower low? Yeah. That would have meant that, wouldn't it? But also, you know, I mean, a low, a low. I mean, who, who wouldn't want to be in it? I mean, weirdly, you're talking about Pointless. Yes. The last time I was on, uh, I was up against uh, Richard, who played Hair Flick. Richard Gibson. Richard Gibson, who played Hair Flick. He was yes. a lovely fellow. He is. And um, I had a little uh, selfie with him. You know, they're remaking, they're doing, they're going to do more uh, Carry On films. You'd be a shoo in for that, wouldn't you? Oh, well, this is, this is what I want. Do you know, it's my dream to be in a Carry On film. I bet it is. I will, I will die the happiest man if I can be in, in Carry On. What would it, it would be something shitty though, wouldn't it? Like Carry On. Carry On up the arse. Yeah, yeah well, I hope, I hope so. I'm sure you're a big lover of porn, how about you? I'm sure we have different, uh, I'm uh, sure our genres are slightly different. Well, you'd be surprised. I once looked at, I would have- A lady? A, a lady. Had a rather exciting evening of, of all sorts. And at about, <laughs> about three in the morning, I was thinking, do you know what, I'm going to go onto Pornhub and I'm going to go on and look at porn. Well, I've never had an evening like that. <laughs> and at the end of it, once he'd done his business, he put her in a suitcase and took her home. <laughs> I might have decided, and I'm not just saying this because you're here, but I have three favourite comedy moments on telly and film that make me cry with laughter. You ready for number one? Go on. Number one is the exorcist scene in Scary Movie 2. Okay. That makes me cry with laughter. Good, good, yeah. Number two, the scene in where Alan Partridge is with his stalker. Oh yeah, I love that. And he calls him a mental and drives off up the... You're a mentalist! End. You're a mentalist and drives up a dead end. That was my second favourite. Do you know my third favourite? Go on is you with Lucy Davis eating a scotch egg doing the minge joke. That makes me cry with laughter. How does that make you feel? Well, I'm, I'm honoured. It, it is. I'm honoured. Truly, we watched it last night again, because obviously I knew I was seeing you. And yeah. We both just pissed our pants. How did they not, I mean, how did Lucy keep a straight face? Well, the thing with Lucy, you've got to remember is, she's a professional actress. <laughs> If Ricky made you corpse of laughter, all the others, it's fine. But if there was corpsing going on, would you all get into trouble if he wasn't involved? Or was corpsing only involved when it involved Ricky? The thing with The Office is that he was pretty much in almost all of it. Yeah. Uh, and if he wasn't in it, 
than he was behind the camera instigating. Yeah. You know how like Joe Mangle, he, Mark Little still now gets like, oh, it's Bouncer from Neighbours. Yeah. Do you get, <laughs> where's your Scotch egg, Kate? Mainly from you. Oh, really? Oh, look, what a surprise! Ha ha ha. Oh, oh, that Don't spoil your appetite. I've, I've been around to a lot of people's houses and they've given me a lot of fry ups. You, you, and they've got frying pans everywhere. But you, you're just, you slams the whole lot in. Do you like slamming it in? I like slamming it all in one pan. Okay. Obviously, you're, you're not a bad cook from here. Do you have anyone special in your life that you like cooking for? No, I'm, this is you see, this is it. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm I'm kind of a, a single uh, fella. Yeah. So I'm used to just. Uh, cooking for one so it's about kind of uh, making the most of what you've got but when you're on the telly don't you get you get you get bonks don't you get, I was on Come Down With Me 2009 and I got a shag from that I've had an idea right you ready good. sounds good so I would like to set you up with a lady okay is there any preference breathing breathing lady a breathing lady sort of Anything else? So, my aim is now, whilst you cook this, and by the time I've eaten my breakfast, um, I'm going to have found you a lady to go out for dinner with you, and if she does, I will pay for the dinner for the pair of you to say thank you for cooking me a fryer. Wow. Okay. Anywhere night, Oxo Tower? Wimpy. You'd yeah, be wimpy, we are. Wimpy. You, yeah, wimpy. you can never go wrong with a brown derby. Can no, you? you can't. It's true. So wait a minute. There's a, there's something else they sell that's much more. Um, bender in a bun. Bender in a bun. I, I thought. I, yeah. I, you'll always see me there on a Saturday morning with a mouthful of bender. With a mouthful of bender. <laughs> I'm with you a Macintosh, and he needs a bird. And anyone interested, please. Uh, I will pay for the first date. There. It's gone. It's gone. We sent the tweets. I'm going to get you. I am going to get you and a lady by the time this finishes. So I was saying earlier that I was desperate to to get you a, a lady in your life. Oh yeah. Yeah, and, yeah. And I put something on Twitter. Um, I'd imagine the replies have come flooded in, haven't they? They've all, uh, um, they're queuing up, aren't they? Form an orderly key. None. And oh, none. So there's absolutely no one interested, so I'm going to have to buy you a brass. <laughs> Can I take her up the Oxo Tower? Good. So, um, I've had a lovely breakfast. I have to say, that was very nice, thank you. You're welcome. And as I do in everyone's house, as I do what I do at home, I give the plate a good licking. And that means that you're the plate. And that means that you've delivered me, do you mind if I just put those there? <laughs> you've delivered me an absolute corker. So, I'd like to, I'd like to thank Ewan for um, taking part in Celebrity Fire. Anything you want to say before I go? I've had an amazing time and uh, I'm glad that uh, you enjoyed the, the meal. Look, I've beaten you! Bye! So, um, we've just had one in. Uh, I have to mention it because I don't want to look like no one's interested in you. Um, it comes from Julie Prunes, and it's, you have surprisingly similar shirts, both of which are lovely. I'm already married, but happy to be a side piece. If you pay for the shandy and the pork scratchings for the initial meetup. Kind regards. I don't know what a side piece is. I wish she's gonna show you. <laughs> Great.